This video is about the difference between cell division in prokaryotic and in eukaryotic cells. Uh, if you remember from back on the chapter when we were studying cell types, prokaryotic cells are simpler things like bacteria that don't have a defined nucleus and don't have defined organelles aside from the ribosome, whereas eukaryotic cells are more complex things like the cells in plants, animals, fungus, you know, things like that. Uh, for the most part, we're going to be focused on cell division in eukaryotic cells, but in order to appreciate the complexities of this, we have to look at the way it works in prokaryotic cells as well. So we'll start with that. Um, this process that happens in prokaryotic cells is called binary fission. And uh, this is different from the process of mitosis that we'll be looking at in eukaryotic cells in that it's a lot more simplistic. So if we just go through the different steps here, the first thing that happens is the cell elongates, it gets a little bit bigger, and the DNA is replicated, which means that it's copied. So we've got a new set of DNA. The next thing to happen is that the cell wall and the plasma membrane begin to divide. So you can see here that the one copy of DNA is now on the right, the other copy of DNA is on the left. Uh, in step three, the cell wall begins to form and it completely closes around that section of DNA. So it's now stuck in one half of the cell. And in the last step, these two sections pinch off, the cells separate, and now at the end we have two new cells with the exact same DNA in each one. Um, on the right hand side over here is a transmission electron image of this process happening. You can see the DNA is still kind of like a clustered mess and that was one of the things that sort of defined prokaryotic cells. They don't have these organelles on the inside of them to give them structure. So it's kind of disorganized and messy looking. The cross wall is beginning to form which is the term for uh, the, the section that kind of cuts off the, uh, the two sections of DNA, one on each side of the new cell. So a binary fission is very simple. The same general principles are followed here as they are in mitosis, the idea that the DNA is copied, and then eventually you end up with two separate cells. It's just the process in between. It's like all this middle stuff that's different between the two steps. Uh, to give you a good appreciation for this, we'll take a look at what happens in eukaryotic cells. Uh, we're going to spend a lot of time on this process as we work our way through the chapter, so I'm not going to get into too many details with you right now, but mitosis is the name for the uh, actual steps that look different inside of the cell during cell division. Uh, if you remember from the, the cell division video, there's much more to division than just mitosis, but this is the stuff you can actually see when you're looking under the microscope. You know, During interphase, a lot of things are happening. You know, during S phase, the DNA is copied. Uh, then during prophase, you can actually see the DNA condense down into these things called chromosomes. So that's something that didn't happen in the prokaryotic cell. The DNA just kind of stayed this jumbled mess. Uh, the reason they have to condense down is eukaryotic cells have a lot more DNA. They're much more complicated, and in order to move things through the process of division in an organized fashion, the DNA has to be condensed down into chromosomes. But then they line up in the middle of the cell during metaphase, they pull apart during anaphase, then during telophase, the nuclear membrane starts to reform around our two uh, new nuclei. And then you can see here, we get what's called the cleavage furrow in between the two sides of the cell. Uh, that's eventually going to pinch together in cytokinesis, where we eventually have two new cells at the end. So it's the same general idea. We're starting with one cell, DNA gets copied, we end up with two new cells at the end. The middle steps are just much more complicated in mitosis because eukaryotic cells are more complicated and they have more DNA to deal with. Uh, just to compare these two processes a little bit, some of the differences in mitosis, you have chromosomes, whereas in binary fission, what's going on in those prokaryotic cells, the DNA is uncondensed. Uh, the other thing for mitosis are the spindles. Those were the little string-like structures that were moving the chromosomes around. They're generated by the centriole, and that's what kind of pushes the chromosomes around during the process of, di of uh, cell division. In binary fission, the DNA just moves to the poles. It moves to like either sides of the cell, and it's not nearly as organized or as structured in the way that process is happening. A uh, final thing is just to talk about some similarities. The two things they both have, the DNA is copied in both instances, which makes sense because the new cell requires that DNA, and the cell does divide at the end, although the process for that happening looks a little bit different in both of these. Uh, it's good to know some similarities and differences for these two. That's probably what you're going to see coming up on uh, evaluations about this kind of, uh, this part of the chapter. So, um, as always, 
Thank you for watching, and I will see you in class.